Welcome back, boys, to another video. This is Dreski, and we're back with an Outriders video. So today is my first Outriders video. We're going to be showing off the Trickster class. Uh, we're going to be showing how we can actually utilize a Trickster, Trickster in the best way possible. So what we're going to use is we're going to use bor Borrowed Time as well as Twisted Rounds and Slow Trap. So if you guys haven't already, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the video. And let's get into it. So we're gonna do we're gonna be doing these little uh, side missions and whatnot, just to go in enemies or go in areas where we're gonna be fighting enemies. And uh, what you wanna do is you wanna activate slow trap like as soon as you get into the, the middle of the battlefield, as soon as you get like in the heat of battle, you wanna activate slow trap. So once you activate slow trap. Then you just you just start going to pound town from that point on so th this class is actually the trickster is a very very squishy class uh, you could die very quickly as, if you're not getting the damage or kill output as quickly as you're receiving damage so you want to make sure that you're always always using your abilities always finding ways to Make sure that you don't die. Make sure that you know you're staying out of lines, enemies line of sight. Uh, you want to make sure that you're always moving around. Don't ever just sit in the same spot. You will die if you sit in the same spot. Like if if you sit in the same spot for too long, you will die. So that's something that I'm just gonna let you guys know. Um, another thing, um, what we're gonna do is a. Uh, I just I want to show you guys which uh, perks that you want to or weapon mods you want to have on, uh, not weapon mods but armor mods because armor mods are very important on this game, especially when it comes down to being able to utilize your skills in the best way possible. So you see, we're moving around. We just keep moving. Do not just sit still, dude. You, if you sit still, you will die on this class. Sit, sit still classes are Technomancers. So if you like to play like that, definitely use a Technomancer. Um, make sure that Outriders is all about using your skills, having a high skill output. You see that most of the time my skills are always on cooldown. Uh, you want your skills to always be on cooldown. You want to always be using your skills as, as much as possible. You see, I, I set my little save point back there with Brawl Time. Uh, Brawl Time also gives you a little speed boost as well as giving you some shield. Uh, I notice that I do run a little bit faster when I use Brawl Time. So uh, you see right here, I'm in a situation where it's like, okay, it's a lot of enemies. It's getting a little sticky. Uh, we got two breachers right here. So we, we go back over here and we get out of their line of sight. They have to come to us now, which allows us to move around a little bit on the map so that we can you know eventually get our twisted rounds back and once you get twisted rounds back then you could just go off from that point on so you see it's, it's very skill oriented um you want to make sure that you're always using those skills man just make sure you're always using those skills uh this game is actually a really really nice game i recommend that a lot of you guys play it this is definitely a game or this class here uh the trickster it's definitely for my hunters. People who have a hunter main, this is definitely for you. This type of class is really for you. So definitely look at this class. We're gonna do videos on the Devastator as well. Cause the Devastator, the Devastator is nasty. Um, I believe the Devastator is really nasty. It's a really nice class. I feel like um, I didn't level it up yet, but I did play with it in the beta. Um, and I'm really looking forward to making a build with the Devastator. But we're going to do a build video for the Trickster as well. And my, my main class is the Pyromancer, which is my maxed out class. So with the Pyromancer, um, the Pyromancers, they do a lot of DPS. A lot of DPS. And I, I love Pyromancers. So that's another class that you definitely need to look out for. Um, I'm going to do a video on Pyromancers as well because that was my main class. Uh, I just didn't show... I'm, I'm going to show you guys what I believe is the best setup for a Pyromancer in terms of uh, what skills you should get on a tree, uh, which 
route should you go should you go top tree middle tree bottom tree depending on what you feel like using uh middle tree is middle tree for trickster middle tree for every class is usually the tank um setup usually that's how you get the most health as well as the most survivability but in this game survivability is cool but you also need to be outputting a lot of damage and I really wouldn't go middle tree unless it's probably Devastator, but for the most part, I still probably wouldn't even go middle tree in a Devastator, so it depends. Uh, this here is an early to mid game uh, trickster build because you get twisted rounds early at level 11, I believe. You get borrow time very early at like level 6 or 7, and then uh, you end up and you start off with slow trap, so you'll have these skills at a very early level and you'll be able to just go crazy with these skills i believe these are the best skills i do have another class that i'm going to come out with um that's a get in get out crazy class so i really hope you guys uh stay tuned for that you see we use brawl time in a perfect situation there to avoid that and we get behind them and you do extra damage when you get when you level up your top tree uh, towards the end you get extra damage from shooting somebody in the back so that that actually comes in clutch with using brawl time as well as using using hunt the prey if you want to use that so we're gonna look at our um, perks here so you're gonna make sure that for the most part you got on perks that boost your twisted rounds perks like resistance piercing as well as uh, critical damage uh, you want to make sure that you get an extra reload on it too uh, so you want to be able to have two mags, but for the most part in the early game, you want to just have on the highest level uh, gear. With our leg armor, you see that the leg armor was uh, enemies that are inside of your slow trap actually get weakness affected to them. So that's a very key perk to have on your slow trap. And uh, we also got one for borrowed time where when you activate it, it gives you armor, and which is very clutch because tricksters don't really have armor they don't really have a lot of armor so they tend to you know they tend to get melted a little quicker they tend to get freaking smacked when it comes down to uh fighting in certain situations too many enemies the tricksters tricksters definitely get get hand get they ass handed to them so uh and you see this is this is the last thing i want to show you guys so i want to show you guys the actual boss fight you see i'm fighting this creature we get, we're going through a creature boss fight and you see I'm doing a lot of damage to him I did a lot of damage very quickly like that that's how you want it to be especially with like a trickster you want to make sure you are putting out a lot of damage early you see I use my brawl time effect to get back behind him because he was hitting me with a an attack that would have killed me uh, when I was on a pyromancer I couldn't avoid that attack if if I got hit with that it was over like so I had to pretty much just keep rolling but with the trickster you can actually get out of that attack very easily just by using borrowed time so that's something that you know the trickster has this they have a little they got some tricks up their sleeves like but um yeah so the the trickster is a very very nice class i really hope you guys are willing to try out the trickster uh especially a lot of you hunter mains and stuff out there you see i pretty much died there activating that brawl time gave me some shield so that I could I got a little bit more survivability uh, while I'm waiting for my health to come back and then um, make sure that you're really close to people when you kill them because it does not register as a close kill and give you back health if you saw that I just killed that dude with the shotgun a minute ago and it did not give you my health back and that really sucks so you want to make sure that you're close enough to get your health back other than that this is exactly how you want and you see i got a little bit behind them so that i could use take advantage of that close damage buff and then we finish them off with twisted rounds and that's why you want to make sure you have twisted rounds as well as a slow trap and that is our wombo combo for the trickster so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video um we got more videos and stuff coming for you guys later and um we let's go through a quick quick like just give me a second so
Uh, we're gonna go through uh, Devastator, Pyromancer, and I'm gonna level up. I gotta level up my Devastator as well as my Technomancer. So I'm, I'm gonna try to do a beginner's class for our beginner's uh, skill set for every class in the game so that you guys can make sure that you're getting the best out of your class and able to make sure that you're not over here getting smacked because you don't want to get smacked now riders like it once you get smacked it spawns you all the way back and you got to start the whole thing over so you definitely don't want to get smacked but uh once again you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always no wait <laughs> He should have hit the like button.